now uh, it's my turn to welcome all of you i at first i welcome dr js dorothy ma our regional director to uh, give the inaugural address and hall hatty welcome all my colleagues and uh, first and foremost i think academic councilors are the focus point today all of you are uh, hall hatty welcome to this program and uh, i hope this will be fruitful for you uh, to conduct the uh, student support services promptly and uh, uh, our mba program is new a lot of uh, revisions are there new things are there so if you are listening uh, very keenly and are asking discussing your matters with us definitely you will be able to give the student support services in a proper manner and uh, once again i welcome all my colleagues my academic counselors and my regional director uh, to be in this meeting and to orient you uh, effectively and to and uh, hope a fruitful end uh, with this program and uh, over to sujini ma thank you uh, thank you jarja ma uh, now i request our regional director madam dr js dorothy to deliver the inaugural address uh, madam Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, at the outset, I just want to uh, thank uh, each one of you for being with us, and also the management and the coordinator of the host institution housing the IGNU Regional Center, and uh, for rendering all the support services so far. Actually, the uh, issues related to the pandemic has opened a new avenues for teaching learning situation. which has become a new normal situation now and as per nep 2020 uh, the digital resources being highlighted indira gandhi national open university has also moved to the new normal situations very effectively for teaching them situation so uh, the uh, new concepts is the based on a yes, student enrollment how a counseling session has to be held and it has moved from uh face to face to digital that is virtual and amalgamation of both uh, face to face and uh, virtual online sessions based on the school however for supporting the academic Hello? counselors uh, the assignment yeah. risk evaluation the, the project supervisors the project evaluators the evaluators for answer scripts are drawn from the conventional education system and as of now the Hello? impact of the academic counselor in these roles are very prominent and in this session also we have four technical session the technical session one will highlight of what is the difference between the old mba and the new mba how registration uh, facilitates uh, is being Hello? facilitated and credit and credit transfer from old enrollment to new enrollment number and what is the validity or the change in maximum duration uh, of the study and how academic counseling has become mm -hmm. a, a nodal regional center activity for a mba program also and uh, uh, the start availability of study material in the gangosh uh, helps not only the learner uh, to uh, access the program before course mm -hmm. materials before uh, upon joining and before getting what they have to opt at whether it is soft copy or hard copy of the study material and also for conventional education system learners to download it free yeah. of cost uh, and the academic counselor is also a concern and uh, the uh, 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 courses with the old has been done and equivalence uh, has also been uh, facilitated uh, at the regional center and as a check mm -hmm. when you are committing the renewal for mm -hmm. academic counselor kindly ensure that the new course codes are uh, also in the uh, paras for equivalence of the old uh, courses which you have initially empaneled mm -hmm. the academic counselor oh and, uh, well i'm going to select it and head uh, dr uh, kg joseph and uh, murli dhran sir will also be there mm -hmm. for uh, finance related oh, activity okay. and a uh, special session on the <laughs> will be sharing about the basics of the mba program and how mm -hmm. mba courses are also available in the swayam portal 
in compliance mm -hmm. with the 2020 guidelines uh, uh, to reach out to, uh, to mm -hmm. the masses for enrollment and later certification. <laughs> And technical uh, two session will be led by Dr. S. J. Rahman, who will be sharing about the assignment evaluation on how determined examination answer script evaluators are being empaneled, and the procedure for registering for the term and examination. Dr. Jalaja Kumari Ma'am will be sharing about the empanelment of academic counselors in the online portal. And also the mapping of the yeah, new yeah. 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 and the modalities of how yeah. the online counseling has been rooted through the nodal regional center mm -hmm. besides project uh, uh, preparation, uh, synopsis, mm -hmm. uh, the project report preparation, and how project supervisors, project evaluators and, uh, are being uh, empaneled uh, uh, at the regional center. And uh, uh, with this, all I request is, so far you have given us the full support. And we request you to continue your support uh, in the days to come also. And uh, we also look forward for empanelment of more academic counselors and more courses so that um, uh, the demand for the uh, evaluators is also met at the end. Thank you and over. <laughs> technical session one i think doctor i will invite dr prasita onikrishnan to handle the technical session one thank you ma'am respected regional director my colleagues from regional center kochin dr vt jalja kumari dr s vijay raghavan and all academic counselors as well as the coordinators who have joined for this acop program a very warm welcome to each one of you to this uh, orientation program about the new mba program so the session which I am going to take today is about uh, the uh, new MBA program, the new eligibility criteria, courses, decentralization of modular structure in management program of IGNO, re-registration procedure, credits and credit transfer from old enrollment to new enrollment number, validity, change in maximum duration, program guide, academic counseling, study materials in e Kosh. So uh, as you all know, the new M uh, the MBA program has been revised thoroughly uh, with effect from the July 2022 admission cycle. And uh, uh, the new MBA program has been launched and there has been various changes when we compare it to the old MBA program of IGNO. So this is what I would be trying to orient you about the changes which have occurred uh, between the new MBA as well as the old MBA program of IGNO. So uh, let us see what are the differences between the old MBA and the new MBA. The basic major difference which has happened is earlier the uh, old MBA program of IGNO had an open mat entrance test examination which presently the new MBA program does not have. So the present uh, eligibility criteria for the new MBA program is just a bachelor's degree program of minimum three years duration with at least 50% marks and 45% in case of candidates belonging to the reserved category. So that means uh, in the new MBA program, you do not need to have a, an open mind entrance examination has been removed. So this is the basic difference in the eligibility criteria as far as the new MBA program is concerned. So it has become more open for students now uh, than the earlier version. As far as the fees of the new MBA program goes on, uh, uh, for the first, second and fourth semester, the fee is rupees 15,500 per semester. And for the third semester, it is rupees 17,500 in addition to the registration fee, which is, will be applicable at the time of admission. As far as the validity of the new MBA program is, uh, as you may know, all of you may be knowing also the earlier MBA program, the validity period was earlier eight years, then it became down to five years. But for the new program, the validity period is maximum four years only. So the minimum uh, uh, duration is two years and the maximum duration is four years. So that is the basic difference. So I have highlighted basically uh, three differences till now. One is the new MBA program does not have an open mind entrance examination. Second is about the fee structure. 
third is about the validity period and the fourth difference and a major difference has presently come is in the evaluation of synopsis of the new mba program earlier the um, earlier it was a centralized evaluation earlier for the old mba program the evaluation of synopsis was a centralized evaluation which was done by school of management studies igno headquarter new delhi but now the evaluation of synopsis under the new mba program has been decentralized and the synopsis evaluation is being done at the concerned regional center so the synopsis uh, for the new mba program has to be submitted at the concerned regional center so these are the major differences between the old mba and the new mba program as for the eligibility criteria fee structure validity and evaluation of synopsis is concerned now second i would like to highlight the major uh, difference between the course distribution of old mba and the new mba program so you may all know uh, especially those who are dealing with the academic counselors they would be aware that the old mba program had 21 courses 21 courses i mean 21 subjects spread across four semesters while in the new mba program we have 28 courses which are spread across four semester so that means the new mba program has seven more courses extra when we compare it to the old mba program and it has become more employment specific and the old mba program we had ma major five specializations which were in operations management financial ma management marketing management and human resource management and financial market practice however you will like to know that the new mba program uh, which has been launched by igno has mainly two uh, two types of mba which is being offered that is one is the general mba and second is the specialization mba so uh, many a times students do come with to us with queries on whether madam general mba uh, in the final degree certificate the specialization will be mentioned or not so the answer is no to it so there are two types of mba in the general mba and the specialization mba under the general mba the students would get the final degree certificate wherein it will be mentioned only general mba and not specialized mba but uh, in wherein the student opts for specialization whether it is in financial management marketing management and human resource management uh the degree certificate which the student would be getting would be have the final uh, uh specialization marked in it that is it will be in either financial management operations management marketing management and human resource management so in the new mba basically two types of specializations uh, one is general mba and second is a specialization mba under the specialization mba we have major four specializations which are presently available one is the operations management financial management marketing management and human resource management and the general mba uh, has five specializations that is operations financial marketing human resource management and services management but however the student will get the final degree certificate only in the name of general mba so under new mba has this mba general wherein you can opt for the specialization in the third semester uh, including service management area so the service management area is not available under any of the four specializations of the new mba program and no such specificity of option of specialization in semester for specialization mba so in uh, when you are registering for the third semester of mba new program those who have opted for specialized mba automatically that subjects would come in their portal while re registration while uh, for the uh, norm while for the normal mba uh, the specialization would be uh, a normal mba that is a general mba uh, you you have to opt out of the uh, uh, out of the following options so the old, what is the basic difference between the old mba and the new mba so as you all know the old mba there were 21 subjects which are divided as follows that is 11 general subjects from ms1 to ms11 five subjects from the chosen specialization two mandatory subjects were ms91 and ms95 and there was one elective subject of the student choice and there was one project submission that is ms100 which was equivalent to two courses 
So what is the difference between a new MBA and an old MBA program? Under the new MBA program, there are 28 subjects which are equivalent to 116 credits. Now, uh, it, it can be said as that there are 20 core courses plus one project and seven courses from any area of specialization. So the 20 core courses of four credit each is like from MMPC 001 to MMPC 020, which is equivalent to 80 credits. One, one project course that is MMPP 001 is of eight credits, which have to be opted by the student in the third semester. And the seven courses from any one area of specialization of four credit each will amount to 28 credits. So total a new MBA program has 116 credits and 28 subjects. So the old MBA program had only 21 subjects. Uh, that is seven subjects are more when you compare it to the old MBA program. Just I have given a screenshot of the semester wise courses to be which have to be selected for registration and re-registration. This screenshot, in fact, has been taken uh, taken from the program guide of the MBA pro uh, program, which is which is available on the uh, IGNO website. So you would see that uh, uh, under semester one, you have to opt for seven core courses. Even in semester two also, you have to opt for the seven core courses, that is MMPC 001 to MMPC 014. Now in semester three, again, you have to opt for three core courses, that is MMPC 015, MMPC 016, MMPP 001. Apart in semester three, you have to opt for four courses from any one area of the specialization. And under semester four, Again, you have to opt for any three courses from any one area of the specialization. So uh, let me just highlight uh, what are the specialization courses which have to be opted in the third semester of program. Uh, as in the third semester, uh, the concerned students were opting for the specialized areas like in the financial management area, marketing management area, human resource management area, operations management area, it will automatically come in their RR re-registration portal. However, those who have opted for ME, MBA general program, uh, they have to opt from in any uh, opt from all these courses for the specialization and they can also opt from the services management area. Now, a major question which students are usually ask at the regional center is whether the credit transfer option is available from old MBA to the new MBA program. Uh, however, I would just like to highlight here that credit, tra credit transfer option is available from the old MBA to the new MBA program. And under no uh, circumstances, students will be allowed to opt for more than permissible credits in a given semester. So the basic... Uh, so uh, the basic uh, the basic uh, the basic uh, fact which i want to focus here is that credit transfer option is available there is a credit transfer form which students can download it from the home page of igno website that www.igno.ac.in you can go to student support and go to downloads and under downloads you have the credit transfer forms which are available under the credit transfer form just now i have given the link for the credit transfer form there is one credit transfer form from from the old mba to the new mba program you have to fill up the form so the basic idea i would just like to highlight here is that the uh, the, co the course codes which are equivalent have been highlighted in the credit transfer form so now supposing the new mba program has 28 courses so maximum up to 16 courses can be transferred as per the credit transfer scheme from old MBA to new MBA program. That is around 16 courses. This is what we have analyzed from our interactions with students and from the credit transfer scheme, which is available on the IGNO website. So uh, the major question with the students usually pose is, if a student has not completed even one paper from the old MBA program of IGNO, still they have to register and re-register for all the semester pro, uh, semesters of the new MBA program. Then only they will be able to complete their MBA program after yes, credit yes, transfer. Yes, so, so that is the basic idea. You need to register 
for all the four semesters of of the new MBA program. If you are an old MBA student, you need to register to all the four semesters of the new MBA program. And after getting credit transfer, you can complete your old MBA program. So this is the uh, equivalency criteria which is ha which has been given in the credit transfer form from the old MBA to the new MBA program. If you see uh, the uh, the cre credit transfer criteria, uh, like for MS01, a management functions and behavior, the equivalent subject which has been given under the new MBA program is management functions and organization process, that is MMPC001. So this course is equivalent. So like this, you have to check uh, which all are equivalent uh, from this old MBA to the new MBA and which all courses you have completed. For those courses, you will get the credit transfer. So this is the specialization, uh, um, basically, uh, equivalency which is given. This all information which I have shown as a screenshot here is available in the credit transfer form. There is a credit transfer form which is available under IGNO website, student support, downloads, credit transfer scheme from old MP to the new MBA program. You will get this form which is easily available. So students have to just fill up this form and submit for the credit transfer uh, scheme. So this is what I have to request all coordinators who are listening to this. Please, uh, if any student is coming uh, to you, uh, saying that he has just one paper to complete from that old MBA uh, program. Still, you have to advise him that if you want to complete your program, you have to take fresh admission to the new MBA program and you have to pay the complete. Uh, you will have to register again fresh, do credit transfer and then complete your program. So that means you have to pay the fees again for all the four semesters if you want to complete your old MBA program of IGNO. So I'm sure uh, uh, the uh, participants are clear about the credit transfer scheme from old MBA to the new MBA program. In case any doubt is there, I'm free to answer that also. Now I would also like to uh, just highlight that there are certain management courses which are available on the SWAYAM portal that is HTTPS .in. So this is an add and information for all of you. Uh, you may also be knowing that the National Education Policy 2020 course is also available in the Swayam portal, which is open also to all students, administrators and teachers. And uh, this is a uh, for those who are interested in having a view about the National Education Policy 2020 uh, can avail about this course, which is available in the Swayam portal, that is https.swayam.gov.in. Now, many a times students uh, do come to us asking about where the program guide of new MBA is available. The program guide of new MBA syllabus is available in the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. Even if you give a program guide new MBA in the search option of the IGNO website, you will get a, uh, the complete program guide. And I request all academic counselors as well as coordinators to kindly go through the program guide. Kindly go through the program guide of this MBA, new MBA program and so that you get a basic idea on what are the uh, basic facts uh, and syllabus about which are being covered in the new MBA program of IGNO. This is available on the IGNO website. The new MBA uh, study materials are all available on the uh, eGyan Kosh link of the IGNO website. The link I have already shared, https e uh, If you see on the left-hand corner, like you can go to IGNO self-learning materials. There's something called IGNO self-learning materials. If you click under that, you can go under School of Management Studies and you can easily download all the study materials of the new MBA program of IGNO. As far as the academic counseling of new MBA program is concerned, our regional center Bhubaneswar is the nodal center for the academic counseling um, for the new MBA program. And the Swayam Prabha counseling schedule in management program was scheduled by regional center Bhubaneswar from 22 
uh, June 2023 to 25th of July 2023. And this, this was intimated to all the needful students as well. So this was the counseling schedule, which was put by the uh, put by Regional Center Bhubaneswar uh, through Swayam Prabha portal, and this uh, this was the counseling schedule which was shared by RC Bhubaneswar. Now, in case uh, there are many uh, archived videos of management lectures, which are also available under channel 19 of Swayam Prabha. Uh, like if you go to e Kosh and you click on Swayam Prabha videos, you can also click on School of Management Studies and you can access uh, the mini archived videos of management related lectures which are already uploaded uh, under the archived video segment. So that also you can please advise the students about the same. Further, we would also like to highlight that we uh, we have been conducting promotional meetings for admission into IGNO programs. And this was only possible because of the uh, support which you all provided, especially the coordinators and the academic counselors. And because of the support only, uh, we could do all the promotional meetings. And we request uh, to kindly support us in future also. And our colleagues can also serve as a resource person for themes related to national education policy and life skill education free of cost. So thank you all for listening to me patiently. I'm sure I could share you some uh, a, a bird's eye view about the differences between the new MBA and the old MBA program. And uh, I'm sure uh, uh, if in case any doubts or queries are there, I would definitely take up in the last session. So thank you all for giving me a patient hearing. Back to you, Jalja ma'am. Uh, the madam was talking about general MBA, specialization MBA, M MBA banking and finance. Three prospectors are different, but the course codes are the same. So, uh, equivalence uh, of academic uh, courses for academic counsel can also be taken into. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, now, uh, this is the time for uh, the technical session number two. Uh, I, I request Dr. S. Vijay Rakhman, Assistant Regional Director, IGNO Regional Center, Kuchin, uh, to handle the second uh, technical session. So I'll be talking about guidelines for assignment submission, offline and on online, semester-wise timeline, uh, evaluation of assignments, importance of tutor comments, and environment of evaluators. Over to Vijay Rakhman. Good morning to all of you. So we are having that uh, internal assessment system. That's the internal assessment system is comprising the assignment submission by the learner uh, uh, for the courses they are appearing for the treatment examination. So per uh, course, the candidate need to submit uh, one assignment at the LSC. The option we have already given uh, through online mode as well as offline mode. Uh, so, offline mode, the candidate can able to submit the assignment at the concerned study center where they have admitted for the program. Online mode, the link has been provided uh, from the regional center uh, at the IGNO website. There, the candidate uh, can able to submit the uh, assignment through the, uh, the soft copy mode. So, the either one of the mode, they can be able to submit the assignment uh, for, 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 for their for the writing the determined examination before. So here, what is the uh, uh, work-wise work to be handled by the study center in the assignment? I want to talk about this because the candidate is coming from different area and different places uh, for submitting the assignment at the LSE. After receiving the assignments, the study center coordinator have a responsibility to separate program wise and course wise and uh, that assignment should be forward to the concerned academic counselor for the evaluation uh, purpose so the academic counselor must be approved academic counselor for the particular course uh, that is very important and the coordinator uh, should have the timeline 
after submitting the after uh, separating and handing over the uh, assignment to the academic counselor within a week uh, that should be written uh, from the academic counselors after the evaluation now because the more or the grades need to be entered in the igno portal by the study center on time because we are declaring the each uh, tournament examination result after completion of the tournament examination uh, within the 40 days we are declaring the result this assignment marks as well as the uh, tournament uh, mark both is very essential to complete the program by the learner otherwise the grade card will not show that the candidate is completed for their program so this is a major work which will be done by the study center the regional center we are validating the assignments awards after receiving the hard copy this is done by the regional center but the study center having the major work in the part of that assignment evaluation and entering uh, in the portal so this total accountability should have the coordinator of the concerned study centers so you are an academic counselor you have your rights to evaluate that assignment and on time you should hand over the awards list to the uh, concerned study center where you have approved for the uh, courses so if you are going somewhere or you are unable to do the evaluation you can tell to the coordinator itself instead of the delay so delay is not preferable uh, for assignment concern and this tournament examination also uh, we are lacking behind because around 45 percentage of assignments only we have received 61,000 assignments uh, we uh, received from these uh, learners and we already uh, been forwarded to uh, concern LSE but till now we are uh, getting around uh, 30 the uh, 30,000 hours has been entered in the portal so nearly 50 percentage of the assignment only received it till date already I have informed all the coordinator to speed up the evaluation process as well as, as, well as the entry in the portal uh, they are doing their best level uh, this is why I am telling insisting this thing is a totally depend upon the LSE concern so regional center is coordinating all the LSEs as well as with the headquarter so the entry to be done on time by the coordinator the coordinator should have the liability on this issue uh, so you have to coordinate with the uh, concern study center coordinator in this record in future so here uh, we are having the tournament examination uh, two time annually december tournament examination and june tournament examination so every year we are having June tournament examination as well as December tournament examination within six months we are conducting and here uh, at uh, regional center of coaching jurisdiction we have activated around 14 exam center which is convenience to the learners so even Ernakulam itself we are having around six uh, exam centers and uh, Laxative also we are having the examination center most of the places we are covering the examination centers and they are conducting the examination uh, uh, of igno so the examination centers the candidate can able to choose and apply through the online mode and the candidate throughout the india they can able to write the examination so not only for rc coaching jurisdiction and even other state also they can be able to apply the uh, examination purpose uh, here the change of the examination center uh, sometime and avoid avoidable situation uh, we are doing uh, that valid letter from the learners as well as the question paper must be available the particular course code at our jurisdiction if this condition will be fulfilled then we are allotting the change of the examination centers uh, at uh, at the rc coaching jurisdiction so here most of the things we are uh, doing through the online mode only for examination and assignment uh, if you see that even assignment can able to submit through the online mode soft copy the scanned copy of the assay hand written like the assignment must be written by the candidate by their own hand written then it to be uh, scanned and uploaded in the rc coaching website which we are giving already uh, we have given the link for this uh, uh, case 
and then even the examination uh, form also they can submit uh, through the online mode only online mode only they can be able to submit the examination form so where they can choose the exam center which place they want to write it so uh, in, uh, for rc coaching student they can be able to write the examination at chennai also or bangalore also whatever jurisdiction they can be able to write the examination even there that uh, bangalore or chennai or any other regional center student can able to write the examination at coaching jurisdiction also so is it is a, it is possible so the assignments hard copy which is received by the study center after evaluation by the academic academic counselors this assignment to be returned to the candidate concern so because is a two way communication the tutor as well as the learner so the tutor is uh, uh, tutor uh, can able to make the commands on that assignment so how the candidate return the assignment whether needed to be improved or whatever may be the commands will be given by the uh, academic counselor it should be known to the uh, learner so that in future they can be able to develop or modify accordingly and uh, it will be very useful for their uh, tenment examination also because the distance learner mostly uh, lot of gap between the early previous study as well as the present study so the assignment uh, writing it is a one type of the skills uh, for the learner so uh, by writing the assignment their handwriting style also will be increased or they they are uh, pick up the writing skills while writing the assignments so that is a very essential things and uh, we are having here uh, a regional evaluation center so that regional evaluation center they are doing uh, doing that uh, evaluation of the answer script so because we are having the timeline the result to be declared within the 14 days after completion of the tenment examination this is a only university and uh, we are having this much of learner we are doing uh, within the 14 days for 40 days for declaring the results which will be great things but this support uh, should come from the study center now because assignment also one of the uh, component for the uh, examination so most of the coordinator they know uh, but my request to you whenever you are getting the assignment from the study center for evaluation you hand over the assignment after evaluation within week so that uh, the delay may be avoided in this record so uh, i request to you uh, if suppose the student are asking about any doubt or any clarification you need to provide that uh, doubt and clarification uh, patiently that is very essential because they are uh, traveling more than 200 km uh, from their native place to study center or regional center so the psychological approach is uh, must uh, be needed for the academic uh, counselors so they should uh, respond politely at whatever information it is already available in the igno website as well as the notice board also we already been instructed all the study center to place the information on the notice board so that the candidate will come and see the notice board they can update the information accordingly they can do all the activities if you are updating that uh, notice board as well as uh, your uh, study center website properly the most of the query has been solved so they may, may not raise the queries in person so while seeing that notice board or igno website uh, they can able to get all the information about the igno activities and uh, which time uh, assignment to be submitted and which time examination we are conducting and the, even the schedule of the examination everything which has been uploaded in the uh, uh, igno websites so the hall ticket for the examination before one week we are uploading in the igno website from there the candidate can able to download the hall ticket and then they can come for writing the examination with valid id card 
so you know id card also they can bring it or even aadhar card also they can photo id card is very essential uh, for permitting inside the examination hall of igno so that is a thing um so anyway uh, you uh, you are requested to see the igno website every week to get the information about our activities and we are uploading all the schedule even the practical schedules and the counseling schedules uh, and examination related information assignment related information everything we are uploading in the igno website even tutor also very actively is uh, functioning so you can update the information accordingly you can uh, disseminate the information to the learners so that it will be very helpful for their studies um for completion of their programs so if you have any doubt at the end of the the session you can be able to raise the uh, queries i can be able to uh, give the answer for that okay? thank you very much thank you uh, thank you vijay raghavan sir uh Okay, now, now I invite uh, Dr. B. T. Jalajagumari, Madam, for the third uh, technical session uh, regarding embellishment of academic counselors in online portal for new courses of MBA. Uh, modalities of online counseling through Nodal Regional Center uh, and embellishment as project supervisors. Madam, please. R. C. Bhuvaneshwar Bhuvaneshwar was sharing. uh the counseling sessions with you i'll, I'll show you in downloads school of management studies we have given that thing okay sorry sorry i'll show you because it is there i have downloaded it and to share with you i will give you the uh, schedule please uh, before that uh, i'll give you other information regarding because the mba counseling sessions shared by the rc bhuvaneshwar is with us i will share you in meantime now please go through the project uh, regarding the project guide project guide you know all the approved academic counselors of mba are eligible to be the project guide of the students now the project course you know mmp 001 mmpp mmpp 001 is the project course for um mba and the old one is ms 100 so when students are preparing their synopsis they will approach you so all of you are eligible means approved academic counselors are eligible for uh, guiding the students mm ms 100 and at the same time mmpp um 001 ms 100 why i am telling some of the bagluk students are there who are going to Uh, through the validity period and they uh, some are there to complete their project course so definitely they will approach for them easily you can guide because you are aware of the course details and formalities of the thing you can guide them uh, and for the new M mba project course mmpp001 uh, there are some instructions from the headquarters and now is uh, time president madam was also telling that uh, now the students how to submit their synopsis in the regional center for approval earlier they were uh, send, um, sending it to headquarters now they have to uh, submit their synopsis at the regional center so before that the eligibility criteria once again i will tell you all the management faculty in the school of management studies at headquarters are eligible there is no need to tell it especially if any of the student wants to have the school faculty as their guide right, they can approach because in the handbook all the details for contacting them is given clearly so you they can otherwise all the other approved academy council of management program with the all courses can be the recognized supervisor of our uh, project then if the students are convenient to identify some of the academy uh, some of the guides who are not the current academy councilors can also be uh, be approved for uh, being empaneled or for being guide one thing is only there they should be uh, a faculty they should be a person faculty or an, um, a person who is working in the business commerce field 
uh, uh, concerning finance, marketing, like that. So many fields are there. So from the field, they can select a person having five years of experience after their PG. And uh, sometimes they may be the professionals of professionals after having master degree in management. And they can um, be the guide of the students as per the experience in that particular profession. That means if a student is selecting a person who is from a marketing field, that person should be a professional in the market marketing field uh, had with the five years of experience. And, and their field and their study of management program will be uh, from the core area of the uh, research. The student is selecting a core area of research, sometimes maybe financing, marketing, HR, whatever it is the person who is identified as a guide should be from the core area of that uh, topic of their research that is right and the biodata of that person the biodata of that particular person may be attached with the synopsis submitted in the regional center the rest of the matters will be done from regional center side and there are two options to get approval one is approval for the guide and the second one is approval for the synopsis they are submitting. So they have to attain both the matters satisfied. Then only they can proceed to uh, the project report writing and uh, the works related to that. So uh, sub, uh, at the time of submission, the open distance learning students, two, uh, two, two streams are there for MBA students. O ODL students are there, OIL students are there. ODL students means open distance learning as usual, usually going in the regional center or as usual, the programs going on. And one sec, uh, the second option of stream is that OIL, online students. So there is chance for the students who are opting for MBA and the PG diploma programs related to the allied uh, discipline. Online also they can take admission and their matters, everything will be online except their theory examinations so even though the study materials the matters to be done and everything will be having similarities but the support services are being provided to the online students who have joined for mba program and other uh, allied uh, disciplines uh, is through an lms portal developed by ignu headquarters there is a learning management system that is what lms uh, that lms portal is there and the support services are provided to that lms to the OIL students. But the students who are approaching to you, sometimes both the learners will approach you. Or OIL students will also approach you because they need guides. Uh, they need all the uh, support from the academy counselors similar to the other ODL students. So you can give your guidance both to the uh, stream of learners. ODL students and the OIL students, you can guide them. You can help them. All the matters are same for both. That is why I am, if some student is telling that I am an online learner, don't hesitate uh, to guide them. There is no difference between the guidelines and the other matters to be rendered. So please consider them also. This is the, for your information I am telling you. And uh, uh, the students, uh, the programs, you know, MBA program, then uh, finance and management, human resource management, marketing management, and uh, operational management, finance, MBA finance. These are the programs under this management and uh, uh, and be uh, clear with the core area of your specialization and guide them that is the only matter the guide should give guidance to them on the basis of their core area it is the only restriction given to you so on the basis of the specialization you can guide the learners then synopsis when they are submitting the synopsis uh, this is uh, actually for students not for the academic counselors but just for the information academic counselor are supposed to be the uh, um, competent people uh, regarding the course details uh, submission details the activities etc so if one student is asking you uh, sir uh, whether how i can submit this one what is the guideline for submitting this one you just guide them that uh, the course code is mmbp 001 and your synopsis has to be submitted in the regional center and while submitting that the pro forma for the approval of project proposal is there that has to be attached with the uh, synopsis and uh, if uh, the guide is not an, a person an already approved academic counselor attach the biodata 
and uh, needed credentials of the person uh, to the synopsis with the synopsis that is the, the thing and uh, mba online students can submit their synopsis in the LMS portal, not to the regional center. That is the main, uh, another important point I have to tell you. Audience students can submit to the regional center and the online students can submit in the LMS portal only. And uh, if uh, you are selected as the uh, evaluator for a synopsis, uh, we will give you the synopsis with you and uh, you can verify, you can um, evaluate the synopsis in a proper manner and please give detailed feedback or communication to the learner in the synopsis. You can write it there. You please write what all modifications have to be done or what a correction has to be done. Please write before giving the approval or non-approval. Then only the student will understand because uh, some of the uh, evaluators are not uh, elaborately writing the details and students are approaching us. What does it mean like that? And uh, uh, they cannot uh, approach the, uh, the, the evaluator. That is not uh, an ethical matter, uh, seeing the evaluator to get clarification regarding the notes return on the uh, synopsis. So please write in a simple uh, manner, in a clear manner, uh, to get the directions uh, to the students as well as the guide. Like that, you have to give them feedback. Then on the basis of the feedback, students can rework on it if it is not approved otherwise they can correct the matters when they are preparing the final research report that is the thing. so please help them by giving proper guidelines in the thing. if uh, you are suggesting the title change guide change whatever it is you can write on the synopsis and uh, you can give it to that is why and perform is there if the space is not sufficient you can write the matter on the back side of the performer and even in the synopsis you can write the needed information to communicate with the learner no problem and if the synopsis is not approved they can resubmit it then it, it is clearly we are not approved like that we are giving on the basis of that suggestion student will rework on that at that time students have to for the knowledge of the academic council i am telling you uh, and sometimes you are the guide you tell them Resubmit the uh, modified synopsis along with the earlier uh, uh, synopsis, which is marked as not approved. Because then only the reevaluation, it's not reevaluation, resubmission will be again evaluated. At that time, the uh, evaluator can easily understand what all uh, things have been changed, whether the student have obeyed, the students have obeyed the directions given by the evaluator, whether it has been done clearly in the resubmitted synopsis. It will be uh, easy for them to verify and give approval. So please tell them to attach with the previous one, the not approved uh, synopsis with the new uh, revised uh, synopsis and then submit it. Okay, this is very important. Then I'm uh, giving an alert to learners, but this is an alert to information to academic counselors also while preparing the uh, things uh, they have to, the students are, students are responsible uh, to submit on time because in the new uh, MM, MBA program, the project course is included in the third semester. MMPC 00, MMPP 001 is included in the third semester because immediately after joining, because they are no new new they are not at all a new student in the program they are the third semester student so they are very much aware of the previous courses they have done their courses whether they have completed or not they are registered students for uh, semester one and two and now they are in the third semester so immediately after registering in third semester they can submit their synopsis in the regional center if it is ms100 it is not applicable for MS 100 this third semester case. It is for the new MBA only. So submit as early as possible immediately after registering the third semester for MMPP 001 because the regional center will take two, three months to get uh, the matter evaluated and to communicate with the learners regarding the approval or non-approval. They will get enough time if they are submitting it. If they are submitting it in the fourth semester, they don't, they cannot claim for the early uh, getting of the thing back 
and uh, the submitting the same thing in the same semester itself it is very difficult because at least seven uh, six seven eight months they will take to do the final project work so sufficient time should be there this has to be calculated and planned by the learner itself. so again and i'm giving an alert that immediately after registering for the third semester student may submit the synopsis at the regional center then they will get sufficient time to finish before the completion of the fourth semester then only they can do the thing within the prescribed minimum time and uh, as per the uh, delay occurs in the submission definitely the validity will be extended up to maximum period that is in the hands of the students and this is the link for uh, downloading the handbook for all details this link you cannot buy heart it i was simply giving it to you and you can uh, find it out by searching ignu uh, website that man handbook of mba like that mba handbook that's really enough you click on that that will be appeared in the again uh, question you can download it so finally you can submit the project the project has to be submitted to headquarters uh, register to the registrar cd uh, ignu maidan garhi like that you can submit it to the registrar cd ignu maidan garhi online also they can online students can submit in the lms portal online students can submit the project once again i am reminding you telling you uh, informing you that online students have to submit their uh, final project in the lms portal through the lms portal okay then uh how how to prepare the project this is also very important and clearly given uh, the directions how to in the f4 size type in the in a space uh, the bound a, a bound volume has to be submitted how many pages have to be there all the details are given in the handbook regarding important notes while preparing project report this is the title given in the handbook uh, that is why i have given the same title so for mba uh, online and odl students both of them have to follow the guidelines given in the handbook then if the student is submitting the project at any time they can submit after registering in third semester at any time there is no time restriction month restriction date restriction for the students to submit their synopsis every day they can submit we will value continuously there is no restriction like other programs but if if uh, sufficient time is given for submission of project also if they are submitting their project in between 1st december to 31st of may that will be considered for june term and examination if they are submitting from 1st june to 30th of november that will be considered for the december session term and examination this is what the information given to them and this please keep the timeline as per the requirement of the session of the student so the academy counselor has a major role uh, to give all this information to them to give them a guide for selecting the suitable topic uh, for preparation of synopsis and uh, the proposed synopsis uh, uh, to be prepared as per the guidelines given in the handbook and uh, encourage the learner to uh, refer the related articles for review of literature and all and give them necessary information for uh, collection of data from secondary sources or from primary sources whatever it is and the needed literature has to be referred the innovative uh, the the motive motivation to the learner has to be given from the student by giving giving proper mentoring to the, enable them to uh, complete the course in time on time and uh, like that you give all the encouragements and motivation to the learner and uh, give them a ethical guidance for doing the work without any plagiarism and all so that is at the biggest ethical point and this has to be uh, enable uh, this has to be for enabling them to be a researching in future that is why we are adding the research component to the master degree programs so the objective of the of including project with the master degree is uh, uh, that has to be shared or informed by the academic counselor only the academic counselor is the person who is motivating the learner to be a good researcher in future also and a, a, a genuine report has to be submitted without any plagiarism or a copying from uh, that is plagiarism some students are um, the 
review of literature they are simply copying from the website and they're putting it there that won't be considered for sub, uh, approval from the synopsis at the time of synopsis submission so uh, please be alert about, about all these things and uh, produce an ethical um, researcher a researcher having all ethics uh, that is your responsibility and i am humbly reminding you because you all are very um, senior persons uh, very senior persons in the field of mba and uh, here i i'll tell you what, what i was going to type here now all the academic counselors who are eligible to be guide can also be the evaluator if you want to uh, be the evaluator especially for this particular you please inform us uh, by giving your biodata certificate of qualification etc we will send the uh, list to headquarters for getting impaneled for impaneled as supervisors so, uh, means uh, uh, evaluators of mba program there at the same time you can you will be getting a chance to evaluate the answer scripts also so concerned application form is there filling up after filling it up you can add the credentials of your educational qualifications experience etc uh, and uh, you can submit it here in the regional center we will forward to rec and you will uh, be getting uh, embarrassment or uh, approval for being evaluators also so all these are the major points i have to share with you i think if uh, you are satisfied with uh, you can keep it this in mind otherwise you can clarify and uh, too much time i have taken please uh, ask any query with you and uh, over to sujini ma'am for sharing the information regarding the next session please I, in the meantime let me give you one uh, instruction uh, two two points so uh, one thing at least a maximum five students you can uh, guide in one session that is an important point sometimes so, uh, several students may approach you you please guide only five students in one session that is an, a major point and uh, you will be getting a remuneration of 500 rupees per student uh, as uh, remuneration for guiding the student and the remuneration bill is given in the project handbook you can download it you can fill it up for each and every student uh, while submitting this duly fill the application for project guide you will be getting the uh, money from in your uh, account through NFT uh, from the finance section that is also there two important points were there I forgot to tell you that is why I came back now Murli sir you can join if you are there yes sir we can hear you sir uh -huh. okay now I'll tell something about that the evaluation uh, some of the counselors I think they may be aware of the activities of counseling charges etc uh, now the mode of payment of counseling evaluation are made through NEFT only from 2019 onwards. The bills uh, towards counseling and evaluation may be submitted to the coordinator and the coordinator will be submitting the bill to RC for recommended. The regional center will pay the amount to the individual accounts through NEFT only. See, there is no other payment through DD or check. The payment notes for counseling, evaluation, and other activities are revised by IGNO in 2018. After that, there is no changes. The present payment towards theory counseling charges and uh, for undergraduate programs for two hour tour duration, the amount is 770. For postgraduate programs, the counseling charge is rupees 1100 for two hours duration. For practical counseling, for all programs up to UG program, for four hours session, the rate is rupees 880. And for PG programs, the rate is rupees 1100. In addition to the counseling charges, the conveyance charges of rupees 220 is also eligible. For online counseling payment norms, the uh, norms are same, but the internet charges of rupees 330 per session is also eligible. 
the assignment evaluation charges of all program is rupees 2750 per assignment so there is no segregation of undergraduate and pg program all as 2750 project evaluation charges of mc is rupees 800 and bc is rupees 500 for all other activities the payment amounts are already available with the consent coordinator that the details regarding assignment and assignment evaluation and counseling okay thank you uh, thank you sir now it's time for open discussion if anyone has any doubt you can ask any academic counselors of any doubt you can ask to the um, officials at regional centers hello ma'am yes sir please yeah myself yashik and i am working in kerala varma college as academic counselor my doubt is that i have been uh, doing the academic counselors for almost 3 years in kerala varma now so i need to know that because uh, no much informations are aware that how to become an evaluator or a paper evaluation also project evaluation and assign ev- evaluation what should be done for that actually uh, sir once again please uh, what do you want to know once again please yeah i have been uh, working under kerala varma college hmm. and uh, one query that uh, what should be the format to get enrolled in evaluation as well as evaluation of the project and the answer answer booklets that is what i told one evaluation pro forma is there okay. uh, if you need it if you need uh, definitely will it is there in the study center itself but okay. if you need once again i will send it to you uh, ah. through the study center please approach the study center and get it uh, uh, it should be sent to it should be sent to whom ma'am to you also i can if you are sharing your um, email id to my phone ah. number i will okay. give you the phone number in this uh, chat okay If okay ma'am anybody wants to have that uh, you please give me a whatsapp that is my whatsapp number oh. okay and one more query regarding ma'am regarding this and project I'll, uh, I'll, uh, t- let me tell you sir one second oh. please hmm. uh, i'll um, sh- share this uh, format you fill it up add the uh, needed credentials means the qualification certificates experience right. certificate etc with that and send to regional center we okay. will give it to you uh, to uh, regional evaluation center and we will do the needful to get Uh, approval from their side. Is it okay. sir? Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. And one more, you. one more query, ma'am, regarding this yes, for uh, synopsis. Actually, uh, since ah. only five students can be done at a time, lot of students are actually okay. facing uh, getting in this uh, project yeah. guide. Ah. Lot of so we have so facing. many academic counselors. They can approach other academic ah. counselors, and mm. in one session, one mm. actually, truly speaking, a mm. guide can. Be, guide cannot guide more than five students if they are doing it sincerely how how okay. it will be possible you please right yeah right. so it's a herculean task if they are bringing right. five topics we are giving guidance for five different topics it will, mm. it won't be possible to guide one session uh, one uh, more than five students in one session so genuinely right. as per mm. the academic uh, quality it has mm. been decided so please mm. cooperate with that you can only guide because when the synopsis is coming here we are uh, processing it with the okay. all that matters if right. one uh, if we are seeing more than five synopsis of one same guide we will in- intimate them and we will reject it okay. and otherwise okay. i will we will tell the students to come and collect it uh, or uh, find out another guide like that we are doing say you should see your only so uh, if uh, th- that will be a difficulty for uh, students no if they are coming yeah. again it taking it uh, right. finding right. out another So to avoid that as a ah. precautionary measure we can okay. follow the rules sir that will be good okay. for you and the students also right right okay, okay ma'am thank you thank you sir thank you okay so we are winding up the program now i request uh, dr janendra kumari vt assistant regional director of uh, uh, rc kochi uh, for the vote of thanks madam please dear academic counselors i am very much thankful to you for uh, uh, being the part of this uh, session um at first as a formality i will uh, share our thanks heartfelt thanks to our dorothy madam our regional director to have 
uh, give us this opportunity to communicate with our academic counselors and uh, it is a very relevant area uh, to share the matters of uh, new courses and the new revisions of policy matters regarding mba program so definitely i think this will be very much useful to all of you uh, and once again i remind you uh, to go in the youtube channel of igno rc coaching uh, to hear this uh, course uh, this uh, orientation for you and you can share the link with your uh, colleagues also colleagues means the igno colleagues other academic counselors are there please do it and uh, uh, once again i uh, convey my uh, thanks to dorothy mom on behalf of rc coaching and the other uh, my colleagues as resource persons they were performing well dr s vijay rakhven dr prasida unikrishnan uh, both of them were giving detailed um, descriptions regarding their concerned area in the agenda and uh, uh, i am very much thankful to them also uh, to make this uh, event a fruitful one or murli sir was uh, giving a brief uh, information regarding the of payment matters from finance and accounts of rc coaching uh, thank you very much sir for sharing your session and all the participants academy counselors from our various management program study centers uh, once again i tell on behalf of rc coaching our heartfelt thanks to all of you and um, uh, we seek your cooperation further especially in the assignment evaluation matter because it's a very serious matter for us uh, so please Uh, correlate with the equivalency uh, that, that is uh, the mapping of courses and uh, the previous courses and uh, render your services for evaluating our assignments also and also you share the links given because i will share the all the matters uh, some um, so many uh, windows i was sharing with you all that uh, matters will be shared to you immediately after this one and uh, you can take the uh, rc bhuvaneshwar uh, schedule also and inform your learners to get involved in the uh, uh, counseling sessions uh, given by the nodal office that also will be done or, and uh, very, we are very much thankful to all of you for your uh, time you spend a lot of time at the time this is a lunch time also even though you are here we are very much thankful to you for uh, uh, continue with us as uh, very active academy counselors for rendering this beautiful program this credential program of igno mba uh, thank you all once again Uh, Sujini ma'am, she was uh, comparing and giving the, all the technical support. Uh, Ansarji was also giving the support, and uh, uh, Reshma is also always being with us at the time of uh, ACOP is given from regional center. Uh, so, so, my dear friends, I am uh, uh, sharing my gratitude on behalf of Arsi Kuchin to all of you also. Thank you very much for once again to all.